Hey, what's happening, guys? Sorry this video is late in the day, but at least I got around to it. So what I got today are some new boards back from PCB Way, sponsor of this channel. And these are my mock man, and this is version 6, and it's got the full-size jacks built into the board, so hopefully it will be a lot better as to what we want. I have some parts here that we're going to need, so let me get them set up, and we'll be right back. Okay, that took me about five minutes to lay everything out, but I don't know about you guys, but I think it just makes everything go easier and smoother. So if you're unfamiliar with this project, like I said, this is V6. I've done a bunch of videos before. I will uh, link them down below. But this is uh, my take on uh, Tom Schultz from Boston, the rock band. His a rock man guitar headphone amplifier. I mean, that's, that's what he invented it for. But it turned out to be an excellent guitar pedal type thing and became basically the sound of the 80s. You hear it on Boston's albums, you hear it on uh, Def Leppard, their album Pyromania. It takes the rough sound from the uh, the 70s, the, the Jimmy Page, uh, Les Paul into a Marshall, you know. It takes that sound and just kind of smooths it out and makes it what I would call jangly. This is the 10 case. We have a different resistor for this one. Those are all one case. All right, I'm going to solder this up. All right, so I've got all the resistors in. Now we'll move on to the next <clears throat> lowest components, which are these diodes. I have to make sure I get them in correctly here. Now, like I said, this video is sponsored by PCB Way. They are the major sponsor of my channel, and I'd like to thank them for their sponsorship. And you can thank them, too, by clicking the link down below if you need a circuit board. Their service is fast, high quality, and very, very reliable. Here in the United States, I generally get my boards back in seven days. There have been a couple of instances where it's taken eight or nine days, but that's it. And I have never, granted, I don't do anything that is super, you know, complicated. The stuff that we do here is relatively simple, but I have never had to return a board for any sort of manufacturing defect. Their quality control is extremely good. And it has to be because they have a lot of competition. So they try very hard. And if you click down below, need a board, you know, go down there and get their link, you will see that you can get five boards. For about five bucks in about five days or in about a week not including your shipping so you know check that out depending on how fast you need them I mean, if you need them in a week you're gonna end up paying about 30 bucks for shipping so your total cost you know it's gonna be around 35 dollars here in the US if you don't need them that quick you know you can wait a couple weeks then the cost is going to be significantly less. And that's all I have to say about that for today. All right, so I guess the next last thing on the board is our bypass switch. 
and this bypass switch is only temporary until we get this into a proper you know foot switch type container in which case we'll put on a standard style stomp switch for our bypass but if you run another real reason I haven't done it yet I'm not exactly sure how to wire those things up but I'll figure it out okay next lowest thing probably going to be our IC sockets so we have one for our TL072 and we have one for the PT2399 and those are the heart of the circuit you know they are what gives it its characteristics uh, one second here I'm doing this without a soldering frame today mostly because I'm being lazy yeah this fell out one moment we can always improvise adapt overcome use what is at hand to achieve your goals simple solutions Whatever you have to do. Oh, it fell out. Come on, don't fall out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to solder one of these pins in. I'm going to make sure this thing is in it as I want it in, meaning seated properly. And now I'm going to do the dangerous crossover reach without burning myself. Use this just to put a little pressure there. Hold everything down. Good. And I'm going to do the same thing with the 8-pin uh, TL072. Now I can pull my tape off. Make sure I get it all off. There we go. Now I can settle, solder those in. No problemo. All right, our sockets are in. Let's move on next to our capacitors. I'm using these... Uh, film capacitors today because I have been told that they are excellent for audio applications these are the biggest ones I have of film capacitors one microfarad these are usually much much lower values. Now I have some lower values up there that we're going to use for some of these other ones. Like I said, I'm not going to really get into the circuit today, but I'm just making some adjustments on capacitor values because the guitar signal is an AC signal. So in an AC environment, remember a capacitor is going to act as a frequency reactive filter so by changing whoops the values of some of these capacitors what i'm doing is i'm changing the frequencies they affect to try and get more of the sound that i'm looking for
So these darker ones are 0 0.047. About half the value that I used originally. And I, I was not unhappy with the value I used original, originally. I'm trying this to see if it makes a notable difference that I like. And if not, we'll go back to the original. If everything works here today, then other than, like I said, tweaking some values of the capacitors, if everything else works the way it's supposed to, then our next step is we put this in a box. All right, I went ahead and finished soldering up all the capacitors. We have the the uh, sockets for the ICs. I got our power wires in. Next up will be these uh, sockets. Audio jacks. This is what I am planning on using. As long as they work out okay. Because they can be... Uh, done up in a number of different ways so we will get the first one soldered on here and these boy these are some big slots yeah those are going to take a bit of solder but that's okay I mean, that's what we want, right? Giant globs of solder? No, what I mean is what we want is a, a good, solid connection. You know, which is with as much current carrying capacity as possible. I mean, this is an audio signal. It's not carrying much current, but... The more solid the... The joint, the connection, the less worries we have, right? So one down and one to go. And no, this isn't going to be the final form of the board. I thought it might work when I originally laid it out like this, but uh yeah, it's not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. I'll show you in a second here once I get this soldered down what I think I'm going to do for the final board. A couple more joints. I said, you know, I'm going to make this just a quick video and skip the stuff I normally do, but you know what? Ain't nothing ever quick. Okay, so now I have these beautiful little 10K trimmers here, thanks to Lane. Thank you very much, Lane. Let's see if I can't trick them into this board. Oh, it looks like it's going to work. These last two components soldered in here and we can see what she sounds like, right? That one didn't I? Yes, I did. Hopefully, I didn't kill it. Hopefully, try again. Everybody, get in the hole. Yep, good. He's coming out the hole. That's what I wanted to see, right? Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. What do you guys think? Shed some light on the subject here. 
All right, let me clean up the bench, shut off the soldering iron, all that sort of stuff, and we'll give it a try. Yeah, okay, here's the setup. Here's the input, the red cable from the guitar. Goes through the Mockman, off the green table, into that amp. This is a clone of a Fender Champ I built. You can see the controls there. It has nothing but tubes. So we're going to let that warm up for a second. While I get the guitar ready, we have the power supply set for 9 volts. Hooked up there. We'll be ready to go in just a second. Okay, so everything's ready to roll. Oh, that's on. Turn that to the bypass position. And let's hear it. Okay. Now we will engage the mock man. I think that's nice and swirly. Let's try the old uh, Def Leppard test. As opposed to what it would sound like just in the regular setting, right? Whoops. And then once more with this on, so you can hear the difference for yourself. you like it too. Uh, if you're wondering about today's guitar, it is the 19, or no, this is a 2004 American Standard, made in Corona, quite beautiful sunburst. And that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring the video. Big thanks to you for watching the video. That's it. I'm out. Peace.